Hi everyone, I am on my trip to see my beach body upline and I wanted to show you where I was. And the reason I didn't go out there, okay, is because it's a little bit too cold for my taste and for what I'm wearing right now. But since I have all this time to do whatever I want now, I wanted to answer Crystal. My friend Crystal had a question about my post on sea salt and the fact that I have a half teaspoon every morning. This is it. And any kind of sea salt, in fact, David Wolf says, the more the better, the more variety of sea salt from around the world that you can get into your body, um, the better. But Joe Rogan is where I purchased this one from. His website is onit.com. And if you don't know who Joe Rogan is, you may want to look him up because he's legit as far as um, his information, he does a lot of research. And if he even feels like he made a mistake in his recommendations, he will take the sale of the, the item off his website as well as issue a statement of his new findings. He has third parties and conducting research on everything that he believes in on an ongoing basis. So anyway, first of all, before I say anything further about the salt, the misnomer about the correlation of blood, high blood pressure and salt um, was something that came really came about in the, in the 1960s and is really put out um, uh, in, erroneously. In fact, the Lancet in 1997, they're pretty legitimate uh, scientific um, uh, medical scientists, they they said that they the people that uh, started the whole high hypertension correlation to to salt should really have been put in jail um, for making such statements. Okay, so here's what happens according to Dave Asprey, the bulletproof executive. What happens to your body in the morning is your reptilian brain says this person is going to stand up in a second. So I don't want them to stand up and have this low blood pressure and fall to the ground. And then a tiger's going to eat them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call on my buddy Adrenals and say, hey, hey, adrenal glands, we need to raise the cortisol in this body. And uh, if you could uh, go find some sodium and change the sodium-potassium ratios in the body, uh, this person will, will have the adequate blood pressure in the brain to be able to stand up. Um, so if you take the sodium shortly after you wake up, instead of making your body find the salt, you've done it a favor and your adrenal glands will have the function for the rest of the day to feel good. Hope that helps.